My name is Richa Sinkray, and this was my device for the March 28th Regional UT Tournament for Science Olympiad. And this is my Rotor Egg Drop device. It is a paper cup with a seal or just a cap on the bottom, which I've cut a hole through, large enough so that the top of the egg faces or goes through this hole. It's it's big enough to fit just at least the first quarter of the egg, the pointy side up. Um, these are paper plates with balsa sticks that have been stuck through the paper cup and they're all slanted at it. Each one is below the other I guess. Part of the plate sticks above the one counterclockwise to it. So that allows it to rotate. These balsa wood sticks have been taped on to the plates so they don't fall off with clear tape and masking tape. And as of now, April 11th, I haven't made any changes to this device, but what I intend on doing later is replacing this cup here with a different material, something that I can still put balsa stick um, wood through. Actually, I don't think this is balsa wood. It's a really light wood, so I'm assuming it's balsa, but I I'm, can't be sure. I can't give you an official answer. Um, I'm not sure yet what I will replace this paper cup with. If you have any ideas, please tell me. I'd be happy to try it. And basically, I was thinking, since this is barely... It just barely fit the parameter, so I'm a little worried at state that they'll be a little more rigid or strict with the rules. So I'm probably going to cut the ends off a little bit. Not too much, but a little. And then also, um, I guess I'm just going to have to make these sticks a little more stable. That's what I'm going to do because they move in and out a little more. And basically that's all I have for this device as of now. I have not worked on it that much after the regional tournament. I'm probably going to have to do it. But if you have any ideas on how to make this device better, then please let me know because I, I really need some ideas. Thanks, I guess. Bye. I was also wondering if you could rec or if you would recommend that I replace these plates with anything because I know at the last Last year when I went to the state tournament, there were a lot of teams that had devices with balsa wood frames and they had something like saran wrap covering it. So say it would be a triangle starting from here to here. And they, basically they'd be large squares, I guess you could say. So they'd pretty much be like these plates. The plates are probably just heavier. And it'd be really, really light, thin sticks of balsa wood covered in something like saran wrap. So it created or just it covered the top and created a drag when the device would fly so if you think that would work better than these paper plates which I am pretty sure are heavier than that then yeah I'll try that also here's how it flies this is the device when it falls from my about 20 feet uh, I'll show you how it rotates and you hold it from the top and obviously the egg would be at the bottom over there and it would be the it'd be just taped on with a little plastic cup. The bottom side we keep facing down so it has a larger surface area to fall on. So okay, now I'm gonna drop it. Alright, Brenna, ready? One, two, three, drop. Oh crap. Basically it falls like that from the top. That's how it looks. I'll show you from the bottom as well. This is a view from the bottom, just to see how it drops and it rotates. Brenna, stick your hand all the way out. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. It doesn't have an egg in it at the moment. That's probably why it turned a little. But during the competition, it was a straightforward drop. And the egg hit the ground. Uh, I mean, the cup at the ground hit the uh, cup at the bottom hit the ground first. And it was about a two and a half second drop outside in the wind. But inside, it was about a three second drop. Or 2.8.